everyone and welcome back to my channel. If you're new, thank you very much for tuning in. My name is Sarah. Today I have a, another Halloween DIY string art kit for you guys. Um, this is the second DIY tutorial of my Halloween designs that I'm doing. Um, and these are sort of string art kits that you guys can do at home. Before we begin this tutorial, if you haven't already, just hit the like and subscribe button down below. Um, and today what we are doing is we shall be looking at the Halloween um, pumpkin design from the kits, which looks like this. If you can see it. So in your kit, you will actually get the pre-hammered board. So it's the navy blue board. It's already got the hammered design on there for you. Um, you'll also get some orange and some brown thread in the box as well for you guys and you'll also get an instruction leaflet in there as well. Um, that instruction leaflet will also have a link to this video. Right, let's begin. So in your kit you will get your navy blue rounded board with your pumpkin design already hammered onto the front of it. You'll also get some threads, so orange in colour. And you'll also get a slight bit of brown. So you won't get a full skein of brown, you'll just get a little bit. Okay. Um, you'll also need some scissors. And I like to use a little bit of uh, washi tape uh, just to secure the ends down. So let's begin. So first of all, we'll get her thread. And uh, we'll just need to find the end. And what we're going to do is uh, we shall tie on the end. So what we'll do first is we will start at the top where the pumpkin stalk is. Now this is because when we do your string art, the stalk will sit beneath the orange, so it will give it a layered effect. So you just want to start by tying a knot on one of the pins. I like to start on one of the corners, because it just makes it easier for me to uh, know where to begin. And we need to just double knot that as well. Now I like to just tape down that tail end and just keep that just pulled to one side just so it's out of the way. Now with the brown we will just loop around these couple of pegs just to create the outline of the stalk. So it's purely a case of twist and loop around that pin. Just keep going. And then we're back at that corner point. So now we have our slight outline. And what we're just going to do now is just zigzag the inside part of that pumpkin stalk. And again, it doesn't have to be perfect. Just zigzag it however you'd like to. All you need to do is just remember that every pin needs to have had a loop. So we'll just keep zigzagging and just making sure all them pins have been looped. And just fill, fill the pins and fill that hole until you're happy. That'll do. Now all I'm going to do is around the outside of the stalk, we're just going to go around the pins again, as we did right at the start, and just loop around. Now what this does is it gives us a nice solid edge uh, to that pumpkin stalk once we've finished. So when it's on the outside, I don't loop every single pin, I'll just pull it tight. And that thread just sits on the top. And then we'll just loop it in this corner pin here, just to secure that edge. We'll loop the bottom. And then we'll loop up at the side. Pumpkin stalk done. So now we're back at that top corner. What we'll do is we'll just tie it off. So loop around that pin. Find the tail that we had at the start, which I taped down. And again, just as we did at the beginning, just tie a knot off. And that will just secure that tail in nicely. 
and we'll just double knot it. There we go. And we'll just cut that thread off. I like to leave a little bit of the tails um, just in case we need to add any extra details on. So now we have our pumpkin stalk. So now what we will do is basically exactly the same but with that orange thread. Um, and I'll show you what to do for these two to define the pumpkin edges. So again, just tie a knot in one of the pins. You can start wherever you'd like, I just like to start at the bottom. And again, you're just going to have to loop all around the pins and do your edging. Um, and we'll leave these corner, these inside bits free for the time being. do is as we did with the stock we'll just zigzag all over the pumpkin and um, once we're finished we'll come back here and then we'll finish off the curves. And once you're happy with the zigzags, I'll just add another one there, and we'll come back to this bottom corner here, as we did um, to outside the outline the pumpkin stalk. We're going to do it on the side bits. So all we're going to do is just a loop around those pins in the centre, and that will just give us a bit of a raised outline on that on those edges. So just lo looping through. And just to finish it off with the remaining thread that you have, we're just going to outline the edge of the pumpkin. So from where I am here on this pin, I'm just going to um, pull the thread tight against the curve of the pumpkin bottom. So the thread isn't looped around any pins just yet. It's just pulled tight across the bottom ones. And then we'll loop it on that corner pin and then the same around that curve. So we just pull it tight. It's not looped around any of the pins as of yet. And then we get to the top corner one and we'll do a loop. Halloween pumpkin string up. There 
as you can see, the torso stands. Perfect. So if you liked this video and this tutorial for the Halloween pumpkin string art piece, don't forget to like and subscribe to my channel for other Halloween and Christmas content that will be coming. I shall also be looking at doing a few other sort of DIY tutorials um, on other string art pieces, including some alcohol ink pieces as well that I do. Thank you very much, guys. Take care.